Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to War Game, where I'm about to start a game, and it is one of those pre-1985 games. So everybody's limited to pre-1985 decks, and we are on the map called Crown of Crags, which you might recognize as the middle part of Asgard over here. I have an armored deck. I'm going to try and push towards Hotel and then onwards, and my uh, armored deck is Dutch-German. So with those tanks, I expect to make it to Hotel and then try... Or maybe Alpha's better. Uh, line of sight's not great. Uh, I'm going to try to get over here. If the enemy has an airborne deck, or at least some sort of fast airborne units, then this could be quite tricky. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, pre-1985. Best tank I have, Leopard 2A4. I got a number... Uh, I got eight in total of those. So I should have plenty of firepower. Now, there is one thing that I'm a little concerned about. Uh, the teams. Blue 4, which I am on, is uh, quite a lot better than Red 4. So this could be a steamroll. And it's going to come down to how well everybody can adapt to pre-1985 to see how well this battle is going to go. It could be over in 10, 12... 15 minutes, if everything goes quickly. Uh, it could be 60 minutes at the most. We're going 8,000 points. And um, let's see. Shit, is nobody else going this side? <laughs> let's reply to these guys. It's going to be fun. Um, if this is going to go well, that is. <laughs> No, never mind. At this point, it's going to have to make it onto the channel regardless. Alright. I got... Actually, I got 20 points left. Um, mm -mm -mm. What can I get for 20 points that has any sort of useful firepower? Uh, Fuerplug. Sure. That could work. These guys have a standoff weapon. Range 1575 meters. AT power 15. I'm oh, sorry, 10. And HE at 2. So if I encounter infantry, I might have a better chance. If I get Hilo rushed, this is going to be quite the problem. Because I only have one whole Gepard. Speaking of Gepards, um, <laughs> Atez is on the other team. We we're trying to get into the lobby together, but I've been waiting for the better part of 15 minutes to get this game. And at some point, the whole blue team filled up. And then, well, nobody on red filled up. Now, Private Ryan is on this team as well. Um, I have him on mute. Which means at some point I had a negative experience with him. So, uh, at this point it looks like already somebody is going to have a problem with him. Alright. It's a pretty long drive for armor over there. I think. They're going to go straight here and then north. Nope. They're not. My tanks are picking this route. Oh, crap. I could get ambushed so hard over here. And with low income, the chance of me getting reinforcements there quickly are just about none. Especially since I'm armored. So, my best chance, get the CV over here ASAP. And then, call in units directly from this side. In which case, I think a martyr... Martyr 1 with a Panzer Grenadier group is my best bet. It's 35 points, so I'm going to save up for that. Let's see what the rest of the group is doing. And I'm, on dis I'm not on contact with any of these guys. I'm just playing pure solo. Which is uh, exceptionally rare, actually. Uh-oh. We captured this side. And I'm saying uh-oh, because they're not encountering any form of resistance. Which means that my side, cancel that, cancel that, does have resistance. So this plan just went out the window. I am going to have to deploy some sort of reconnaissance vehicle here to see if they're coming down this road. Oh, shit. Yeah, the helos are here. Flak Panzer Gepard. Light him up. Now, this is the unimproved Gepard, just the 45-pointer. Not a very special anti-air unit, but in this case, it definitely does the trick. 
Now let's push in a little more. And I think I'm also going to have to save up for a second Gepard or a resupply unit to keep the first Gepard firing. I think a second Gepard at this point would be more useful. Let's drop these guys off. Tell the Führplug to start moving uphill. Another Lopper 2A4 over there. I'm going to park the Iltis in here for a second. If I can, I'll try to get it over here. What? Oh, they're moving it. This suggests that it could be an infantry command. Oh, here's more. Shit. These are armed with rocket pods, so countering them with infantry is going to be very hard. Aside from that. Oh, crap. Fall back a little. Jesus! Angle that armor. I need you to fall back towards the road. Because otherwise you don't have a shot. I am definitely going to have to pull another Gepard. Sport, Gepard. Concerned about this flank here. AK Prime apparently is too. Come on, Gepard. Get a line of sight, buddy. I'm going to lose a 2A4, I think. Oh, they run out of ammo. Well, that was just in time. Let's get that tank out of here. So these guys are not going to be quite safe on that hilltop. This recon vehicle is armed with an autocannon. Two points of armor. <laughs> that is easy pickings. Uh, look, despite red having definitely better stats, we are currently, or sorry, having poorer stats than blue, we are definitely losing, at least for the moment. One thing I'm more or less expecting over here is to start seeing HGMs fly out of these woods. So I'm keeping my forces mostly below the dip. And keeping the uh, reconnaissance leopard up front so that I can spot targets if and when they appear. And let's bring in the Mankati to fix up that 2A4 here. The other Gepard should be on the way. Yep, there it is. It's going to come in eventually. I'm really curious how many players went here. Let's start counting reds. This is Etes. This is Etes again. Uh, this is Kobe. Where's the rest of red? Aircraft, Kobe. Come on, red four. There's ten of you in this team. Where's the others? Park there, don't shoot. There could be one... Ah, there we go. That's the third player. Tabasco 55. Looks like somebody's providing mortar support. And judging by the volume, that could be a battery of four. That could be another full investment from one more player. Let's move up a little with this group. Because I'm getting the feeling that there's not too much in here. Maybe just an early helicopter offensive. Let's push to contact. Uh, no, not, don't turn it on just yet, in case they do bring in seed. Oh, we spotted something. Not for very long. Move up. Shit, what are you? Fall back. Let's get the unit viewer up so I can quickly see what that was. If it pops up again. MI8s. Gepard. These are yours. Juliet needs help. Yeah, that's the middle. Oh, sorry, it's not on my HSK 29s, of course. That's one less. 40 points for a helo like that. Is he gonna go down? Yeah, you got him. Nice work. Nice work. So now we gotta uproot the infantry that's in here. That's going to be interesting. And I'm running a little low on ammo for the Gepard. My god, you should fix up the, the Leo over there. I'm just going to push my CV in there. Gepard. Let's see. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Fall back. Get further out of range. They're going to fire again. Optical failure. I could use a bit more anti-infantry warfare. So... Maybe a Kyler? Oh, it's two Skrejets. 
Interesting. Let's send a Kyler up. Leopard's being fixed up. Set both of these on the hotkey. Turn this one off. So I don't need to be moving that command unit up too far. Oh shit. That is a bit much to chew for a leopard to or for a leopard uh, recon. I need that to a four to do that. Get out of here. And it's not just that, it's a T-80 as well. Fall back, break line of sight if you can. Use the terrain. There goes my flak panzer. Uh, let's get a BGS group in here. Is that other 2A4 doing any better? Yeah, it's almost repaired. Look at this. <laughs> I just got eyes on their sector. Whereas I really shouldn't have. Fall back. I'm expecting those helos to come in very close. Uh-oh. This M113 is probably not going to be too long. Fire up. <laughs> not a fucking chance. Um, yeah. Alright, Leo's fixed. Let's move up, because this recon needs a help. There, he's dead. Oh, one already surrendered. That's Tabasco 5-5. Kogi again at his... Redoubt. Utavish. We're pushing quite far on the left flank, so I just gotta make sure that I can keep skirmishing on the right. Weapons hot. Feel free to engage those helos. Whenever you see fit. Just trying to get line of sight. Come on. I think he is trying to get line of sight as well. Yep, that's one less. I'm hoping that those T-80s are going to come to me, because over here I have more firepower than they do. Or hoping, rather. Oh, shit! Is Lima a spawn point or something? No, I don't think so. Ah, oh, this thing got its ammo detonated. Kyla took the wrong route. Let's see, if I can get an eye on those units over there, those tanks, I might be able to take them down. And I'm definitely going to need more reconnaissance and maybe another shooter. Can I uh, borrow some supplies from somebody? That would be great. Yeah, this Chinook will do. We got this area properly defended. Well, maybe not properly, but we have it defended. Oh shit, hello. Yep, that's definitely one of their tanks. Some damage, but apparently that thing had more armor than these guys have AP, which is not hard, since they only have 10. <sighs> we gotta spot that thing. Jupiter. Let's get the BGS up here. Maybe they can see from here along that line of sight. Fall back with the uh, Minkati. Carlos getting fixed up. I'm gonna deploy a transport helo over here. So the user falling back. It's going to be really, really close range. Ouch! Yeah, they got way more firepower. This was a really stupid move of mine. Should never have done that. That was stupid, because now I'm completely out of heavies. And it's going to take me uh, a lot of points to get a super heavy. Well, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, I'll just save up, I guess. Points? We're still 800 behind. Still all blue four players and mostly red four. Let's read out again. Oh, they're pushing in here pretty good. They were not kidding when they said Juliet needs help. Ah, hello. We got transports inbound. 
If that T-80 decides to push along with them, I'm going to have a problem. Uh, do I call in a helicopter and try and take it out? I think it knows it was detected. Because he is trying to fall it back. Hold here. Yeah, I can fire about 1.8 clicks, I think. These tanks are really quite close. Right, Kyle is ready. Let's move you over here and then north. I need to fill up close to the 53. We're 1200 behind. I need to shit or get off the plot here. I need to do something. And so far, I have scored some points, but it was mostly helicopters. Aside from that, I haven't done jack shit. Uh, could we push over here? Is the big question. Let's send a recce Leonard, Le Leonard, Leopard, close enough, and maybe a flak panzer, in case they do come after me with more of those helicopters. I want this group to be defended as well. Well, group that tank. Kyler's moving. <laughs> We're basically staring at each other and not really doing much of anything. Either of us. Side armor, 10. Fuhrplug's never gonna get through that. Don't have the firepower. Alright, you good enough to go? Let's lift this thing off and uh, borrow some from the fob. And then fly back. Where can we get kills? Let's zoom out a little. We're doing quite well here on the left. It seems to be defended. Oh. Blue's starting to crumble. Um, Juliet's not great. To put it mildly. We do have Lima. But red 4 infantry against blue 4 infantry is usually much to the favor of red. Oh shit. Incoming. I might get the first shot off and maybe the second. But they got two tanks, and I only got one. Shit. Get out of here. Can I still afford that helicopter? No, I cannot. Okay, fall back, everybody. The only thing I got is a Kyler. There's a T-80 coming at me with an AP of 16. There goes the reconnaissance group. If you're you're going to be safest in the mountains. Get over there, quick. You guys, over here. Uh, this Cobra could save my ass. But I can't spot for it at the moment. Let's get a reconnaissance helo up, so I have a bit more flexibility in my spotting capacity. This Cobra seems to be going for it. No, he's falling back. Yep, he's getting a missile off. And this guy's not responding. Frontal impact, the T-80. Uh-oh. Those are AA units. Yep. Fortunately, he noticed that. He did do a decent bit of damage. But it was not enough. If I can take out those AA units, I can get potentially some assistance from this Cobra. Mm, yeah, let's keep going here. What's Etta's doing at points? 466, well done. Well shit, we're losing this side. Might be better to just let these guys come through and relocate my forces here to stop whatever's coming down that ridge. There's the Kyler. The Kyler has to... Oh, the Kyler's going the scenic route. It's going right through the hills. So is the Ultis. Look at this thing go. 110 off-road. Impressive little jeep. BMPT, good choice. We are... 900 points behind. No thanks to me. I wonder what came out of those crash jets. It could very well be anti-tank infantry. Although, if it had been then that M113 could not have gotten in. Oh. 
That's a PT-85. That thing is armed with Milyutkas. Not terribly dangerous. Unfortunately, they're really quite slow. So let's do a bit of probing here. Alright, Kyler, do you think you can make it up here? Hesitant. 40 points. That was probably their reconnaissance unit. Do a recon pass and fly back. Can we get this Leo further in? I mean, it is risky, but we gotta make something happen. Shit. That was the Kyler. Two T 55s took it out. Oh, I'm playing terrible tonight. Plane? Oh, a 27S. Okay. There is a chance that I'm going to be looking right at a T-80 when I crest this hill. Nothing so far. Surprisingly, they're not actually using this breach that we have. Because at the moment, they could be pushing here pretty hard and we would not have a lot to stop them. And they're not doing it. So that's definitely something that I have going for me. Um, Ryan's being a dick again, I guess. There goes the recon bird. A couple of bruises. Alright, let's get the jeep going. If I were to come in from here, I would deploy a command vehicle or infantry in these lines. Or if you want to be unpredictable, you deploy it here. So I need to be getting a little more spotting here. And maybe I can find it. JPMA surrenders, that's another blue. Contact. Oh, 30 more Skya. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> a long, long while. I want another leopard over there. What's the range on those guys? 700 meters. And I'm 770 meters out. Jeez, it's gonna take forever. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll be going now. I'm not too confident fighting off a T-72B. This thing can one-shot me, I think. Let's get out. Oh shit! All right. Just use the Gepards. They're not really ideal against this particular threat, but they can kill them. Even the AMX is trying to kill something. Oh, that's cute. Uh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Because the only thing defending me at the moment is a flak panzer. Which is risky as all hell. Okay, let's buy a 2A4. Looks like we're reinforcing this flank point. We're still about 900 behind. And we have 40 minutes to do it. So, it's not terrible. It's not lost. Defend there. That's not my area of operations. Can we get another reconnaissance unit in here? I need to see where those tanks are going. And how I can get into this sector. I can make a reservation at hotel. <laughs> that does having fun. Oh. Okay, the Jupiter doesn't really have to do anything. Uh, I can <laughs> I can afford one of these. I could also try to get a helicopter. 
spot the unit over here, the T-72B, and try and take it out. If I can do that with uh, BO-105, I can get my Leopard back in there. Speaking of, let's see if I can take out the BTR-70. No. Try it again. Come on. Oh, he did hit him. He's just gonna have to hit him again. There we go. Fall back. Fall back there. Then push here. Then move up. I'm gonna stay a little unpredictable with that unit. Okay, time to get that helicopter in. I know I'm an armored deck, but... Why go with the difficult option if I have others? I mean, I could go for tank-on-tank -tank warfare, but the chances of that working are slim. Speaking of, what are you? Oh, that's the AA unit again. Okay. And are you the tank? Yeah, that's the tank. That's both of the tanks, actually. So if we can take out that AA unit, then this helicopter can immediately do work. Now, I have a throwaway plane in the form of an F-84F, but it's a little expensive. I need another 30 points to get that. Oh, we've been detected. Unit no longer blinking. I need to find out what is spotting me. This thing has very good optics. I wonder how close that T-72 is to me. Private Ryan surrenders. Oh, thank God. That guy can be such a dick. Shit, that's a lot more AA. Yeah, you're not getting away here. Gotcha. Almost there. Oh fuck, there's even more. Oh, we got one. Nice one. And we got another one, I think. Yep, he's dead. Who did that? Is that a plane? I don't know. I guess he's going off in chat as well. We're about 1300 points behind. There's a T-88 falling back. Okay, I can now buy my throwaway plane. I just need... Ah, there it is. I need to find that. Oh, the Kaya was going to take it down. Watch this. Nope. You're making yourself look bad. Shit, lost line of sight. The BGS over here. There it is again. Ah, they don't have line of sight. Here it is. Go, 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 go. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Quick. I don't know how long this line of sight is going to last. Turn that aircraft around. Come on. Shit. Well, they call it a, thro they call it a throwaway plane for a good reason. Not exactly supposed to survive. Hilo. Got a good snack for you there with a hundred points. You hate F-16s? <laughs> right. Look at that. Kai was also doing work. Yeah, is he gonna get him? He got him. Nice one. Okay. Leopard 2A4 is ready. Recon Leopard is ready. I might be able to make a push here. Well, if you want to call three units of push. I might be a little optimistic. Quad stack of Veselex. That's also something you could throw a throwaway plane at, because that's worth a lot of points. Oh, he's running out of fuel. Oh, crap. I'm gonna get the Mankati over here. Oh, there you have fuel. Maybe they wanna... Oh, hello. Maybe they wanna share some. Gotta capture supply trucks when I can. Where's that get down? That's their line of sight gone. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not good. Get the CV in. Do it now. Another bunch of Stralas. Get this unit out of here. We're gonna send in the AMX. Contact. T-72. Bravo. Looks like it took a bad hit. 
got you. Push. Neutralize the cap. Uh, Muskayas. Fall back, fall back, fall back. You're almost getting into range there. Oh shit. That's gonna hurt. Uh, that was my reconnaissance and my command. That was a good drop. Uh oh. And there goes my tank. Yeah, now I'm fucked. I got nothing left to push here. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I wonder if this thing is going to kill the trailers. That would be fun. Oh, he might have backup. Well, at least I got line of sight on it long enough for the Kaiwa to get a shot off. And... Sudden death. Points, five and a half versus six, nine. And to make matters worse, India is falling. Yeah, I don't see us winning this one. Not particularly. I might be able to plug this if we can get... Oh. That would be AA. If I can uh, take those tanks down, they take the sting out of it. But there's AA and there seems to also be transports coming down here from McTavish. Which we have absolutely nothing to counter. That's another aerial unit. Maybe a Jaguar or a Pratt is my best bet. There's a 64 BVI in there, 110 points. There's the AA unit. Singular. Oh, I just inherited a plane. And a whole bunch of units. Lovely. Ooh, gotta reacquaint myself with what I have here. Shit, they're sending in a Tunguska. Look at this. <laughs> they're getting a little cocky here. Uh, you really, you're gonna donate all your units when you're losing. So now I get the losses. That's a little unfortunate. All right, let's see what we can do with this unit. But this is basically GG. I mean, there's no way of coming back from this. Not if they're all the way in here. So well played to red. Not the uh, result that I had expected. But it makes for very interesting games nonetheless. Why am I not doing damage? Oh, I only got 15 AP. That's fine. We're gonna snipe their AA. I can. Not really. What's this? Oh, it's a uh, Shrike. Maybe those Tunguskas are active. Yep. Come on. Okay, so that went all over the place. This thing seems to have hit at least one missile. Maybe another. Time to leave before the Tunguskas get here. Mm, yeah, I did get another hit. Oh, you need so many hits on these tanks before they go down. Yeah, we just lost the sector. He went veteran, but he... Did he, he did kill it. But I'm not sure if that was mine or not. Oh, I got a bunch of servos. They need 200 points. This is over. Maybe I can get a T-72 here. This thing has exactly one missile left. Let's try it. Gotta give them credit. These guys played a hell of a lot better than I'd expected. They really made a good push. Good effort. Mm, they need 30, no, 45 points. Uh, might as well give them the servals. This thing's over. They won it fair and square. Come on, Shaitet. There we go. They won it. Okay. Um, holy shit. <laughs> Getting all these units just close to the end of the battle sure as hell didn't help. But aside from that, I played really poorly. Uh, losing those tanks early on, that was just being too eager, trying to make a push, whereas I shouldn't have.
Not like that, anyway. Leopard Recon got a couple of kills. Uh, the F-84F did exactly what I needed it. Killed the 1AA unit, but then more turned up. 2A4 got a kill on the T-72B. There's Vetka, Transport. Um... Yeah, see here, we start losing Israeli units. One, two, three French units, which were not mine. Uh, another command infantry, which wasn't mine. Or at least not originally. So this is 100 points, 200 points. Uh, Hovet, let's give it 30 points. 240. Mm, 290. Yeah, still, even if I uh, subtract those... I wouldn't have gotten anything. And besides that, they do sort of get kills. Anyway, that made for an interesting match. 1985 games. They are, um, I think, pretty rare. They're not that easy to find. But they do make for interesting games. So if you want to try something else, aside from the usual war game experience, then this might be something that can keep the game interesting for you. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys soon for the next vid.